work felt like dreaming while I was awake. It wasn't perfect, but I quickly grew fond of it. Until one day, I got a call from my mom back home. Hello? Oh, Paigey, how are you? Oh, I miss you so much, sweet. I'm doing well. Midterms are coming up, but it's nothing I can't handle. Well, of course, my love. You can do anything. We all know that. Oh, wait, before I forget, remember Margaret and Jim? They have that, that uh, flat in Manhattan, right? And uh, they tell me that they're going to take a trip to Paris. And they need someone to house and dog sit. So, you know, I kind of thought you could use the uh, little extra dough. Uh, you know, maybe get away from the dorm for a little bit, huh? What do you think? What's so. up? Yeah, I think some time away would be nice. Hi, oh my gosh, come on in, look at you! Good to see you. You too, oh, thank you so much for doing this on such short notice, honey. Not a problem, plus, I'm an animal lover, so I'm happy to. Oh. T'as pris ma veste? Va la prendre! So, I'm sure Jim might have told you on the phone, but Piddles is really, really old. She has to have her medicine four times a day. Please don't forget. Oh, I won't. That should be easy enough. I'll just be here studying for midterms anyway. You guys have a safe flight. Thank you. So sorry to bother you right now. Um, I just of course the Tarvers had already gotten to their hotel in Paris by the time I got a hold of them. Um, uh, this morning I I went to go make um, Piddles her her food and I naturally they were devastated. I I uh, she passed away. But actually assured me that it wasn't my fault. I'm so sorry. They knew it could happen any day. They had just been denying it to themselves. She asked me to do one simple thing. Get Piddles out of the house and get her properly cremated. I guess so they could try and get some closure once they returned. And of course, no matter where I looked, I could not find any way to get her there. How did I get myself into this mess? Please, please, please. Oh my God, what do I do? So that was all I had to do find a vet in this city, quickly.
on Broadway, so I figured what better place to do it than New York. <laughs> Plus, I wanted to get out of the Midwest, live in a city, get the most out of life. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll grow into a city girl in no time. <laughs> I didn't catch you. Page. In yours? Drew. Pleasure. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> what are you reading there? Uh, I am taking a meditation class in Brooklyn on Thursday nights. City is really stressed out all the time. You with me? I'm a bit more of a mellow guy, so I thought I'd give Buddhism a try. Do you like your class? Absolutely. I, I find it fascinating. We learn a new aspect every week. Last week was uh, all about rebirth. Focusing on the fact that we have constantly evolving souls that are not limited to one physical body. And yet, as these souls twist and turn throughout eternity, they find that they're always connected to each other. At least, that's what I found to be true in my life, anyway. <laughs> Where I come from, there's pretty much just Christians and heathens. It's not very diverse, so I was never really exposed to it. I've been exposed to quite a lot in the last 10 years of living here. There's some good, some bad, but I learned from it all. Paige. Hello? Oh my god, I'm, I'm sorry. I just realized this was my stop. Wait! I asked myself too. Accepting meeting you as fate. I want to tell you that I think you're awesome. <laughs> Can I give you my number? I would like that. <laughs>
the Tarvers and try to explain what happened. They were so sorry about the whole ordeal that they didn't even make a big fuss about Piddles. I just had a hard time trusting anyone after that, let alone men. I got so wrapped up in that destiny Buddhist talk that I actually believed karma is a real thing. That fate is a real thing. I've always wanted that happily ever after. To power. I'm not that naive anymore. I guess there's no such thing as karma after all. <laughs>